Welcome everybody to the Windward Code Wars 2016. Uh, I think we've got something that's really, really challenging. I'm assuming you've already watched the video we uh, sent you about the game Acquire. If you have not, pause this, watch that, and then come on back. Okay, welcome back. Um, number one thing I want to say on this is everybody in this is really, really good. So you're ready to rock and roll, look around you, so is everybody else. This is one of the most competitive programming challenges out there because you're going head to head against the other. There's a numeric score at the end. And so you've got to have your AI that does this better than anybody else's AI. That's number one. Um, I want to put a thank you to Jet Brains, who is giving the really nice free software to uh, the winning teams across the board. So everybody, round of applause for Jet Brains. Okay. As you go into this, keep in mind that you're going to look at it first and you're going to go, okay, simple problem. It's not simple. This is designed so that if you had 24 hours, you could write a really good solution. You have eight hours. Haul ass. Towards the end, when it gets to be about four o'clock in the afternoon, you would sell your mother for an extra four or five hours. So put everything you can into it all out. Um, the best advice I can give you on playing Acquire is early on in the game, you're cash poor. Um, you got to be very careful on how you spend your money. If you do the right thing on having your stock get acquired, so you get those first and second majority holders bonuses, towards the end, you're cash rich, and boy, you wish you could buy more stock, but you can't. The second thing I want to talk about in the game is why it talked about the general playing of the game. You have five special power cards that are in the game, um, but was not listed in that video you saw. The first one is, on that turn, when you buy your three shares of stock, you don't have to pay anything. Very useful when you're cash poor early on. Second one is one where, again, all these are one time. You play this card, and instead of three shares of stock, you can buy five shares of stock that turn. That's very useful to getting you into that majority holder's bonus. Um, third one is you can do up to three trades where you trade in any two shares for one share. Again, that share has to be available and it has to be a chain that's on the board. But again, that can be a way not only to get you to that first majority holders bonus, but you can trade two shares of a stock that's worth 200 for one share of a stock that's worth 1,000 or more. Again, a good deal. Um, next one is you can take five tiles for that turn. That's useful when you got nothing good to play. That will then play down to six and then five tiles before you get another tile again. So it's a one-time shot, but useful at that time. And the last one is to play four tiles, and that can come into some very interesting stuff you can play right then. Also keep in mind all the other AIs have these same things. Okay, when it comes time for finally running, you're gonna run and play the game 10 times against everybody else it will build up the score against all that. That's to stop someone winning because they had one very good game, but normally they don't. It's also extremely valuable to play against others over the course of the day. We strongly suggest around noon and around 2 or 2.30 you play against the others. Have lots of logging information written because after those play, you're going to want to see what yours did, you're going to want to see what the others did and how yours uh, screwed up around that. The last piece of advice I'll give you before you start is random number generators are your friend. If you have a measure and on a scale of 1 to 100, playing one tile is you give it a ranking of 93 and another tile 87, you usually want to play the one with the higher 93 ranking, but not always. You want to have it that you bring in a bit of a random number to that to take into account the fact that your calculations may not be perfect. So with that, Get going. You've got less than eight hours left, and boy, you're going to need every second of it. Thanks, and good luck to everybody. Bye.